Hello everyone, I am JC, welcome to my channel. I am a VoiceFlow certified expert, an AI engineer and consultant. And on this channel, I talk about AI automation and mostly VoiceFlow. And on this video, I want to talk about like the last update, the last MCP integration that was added. Now your VoiceFlow agent can add and can manage like your Google spreadsheets. And I think that's pretty exciting. So let's jump right into it. Okay, let's go. So here uh, we get the out of the box agent that you that you get when you create like a new agent. Uh, so what we are going to do is to change this one. But first, let me show you uh, the spreadsheet we are going to be working with. So very simple, date, name, email, rating and summary. The idea would be that the agent collects this information or generates it and then uh, save it here, store it here. So that is the goal of this uh, video to show you how that would work. Very simple. Um, the MCP integration can do other things, but let's uh, keep it simple for this one. Maybe I, I will do another one for the other tools. So I will uh, go edit agent. Uh, first of all, like I don't have a real uh, knowledge base, so I will disable it here, but I just put it uh, in line, let's say here on the on the prompt. So, well, actually this is the, the current one. I do have a prompt to use for, for the video. So let me grab that. Um, yeah, this is the default prompt. So we paste uh, the one that we want, okay. So this is for a, yeah, uh, let's say a video production company called Stellar. And we see that we have like knowledge base, our products and a, a, our service and limitations. And after that, we don't have anything else. If we take a look, let me move this one. Uh, we don't have anything else, a closing, and that's pretty much. So the idea would be to take a look on how uh, we integrate the tool, but let's first uh, give this a spin. Let me close, let's do run, and let's do run test. So here we will start um, yeah, with, the, with the testing. So, hey, how, how can I help? So I do have like um, something around uh, 4K, 8K. So let's see, do you offer 4K? It should say yes, of course. So we are going to see, I mean, the, the response here is going to be very, very simple. Uh, yes, we absolutely offer 4K video. Let me actually disable the debug mode. So it's like cleaner, all right? So yeah, uh, expect the response that, that works, all right. So if we say um, that's all, um, nothing will happen. It will say, okay, the closing, we'll get to the closing part, reach out anytime. But uh, let's say we want to collect the, the information from the user as a the rating, like uh, to assess what, how was the, the customer support of the agent and store that right on the spreadsheet. So I'm going to now uh, go to the edit agent. I already uh, connected my Google account. So once you click here, uh, it's going to say uh, not connected and then you click on connect and then it's going to launch the Google authentication in a, in a new tab. You put your credentials and then you are uh, ready uh, to, to go. Um, I think you need to give a bit of, a, of permissions, of course, but that's it, nothing, nothing else. And then we are going to work with the add to sheet uh, tool here. So we are going to say, yeah, add to sheet. We are going to say here, uh, we see that we have like three variables. So these variables uh, yeah, are basically coming from the Google Sheet API. So it's nothing that um, um, yeah, VoiceFlow is doing uh, particularly different here. It's just like the API. So uh, first we are going to do like the spreadsheet URL. You can paste the URL, but then you can uh, click select here, uh, select a spreadsheet, and this will launch a, yeah, a window that um, you can then uh, go and find your uh, actual sheet, the sheet that you want to use. So you click uh, here, select, that's all. And then uh, we are going to talk about like the range. So very simple, uh, we have uh, to give like, okay, what is the, what is the actual sheet that we want to use? or if we want to just limit to a specific uh, range in particular. But for now, we are going to say just sheet one. That's uh, that's all we, we need for now. And then we get to the values. So here we want to provide uh, some instructions on what uh, should uh, collect or what should put uh, for this variable. 
So I'm going to paste a bit of an instruction here as well. Collect and add the following information to a new row, date, name, email, rating, and summary. And with that, uh, we are going to see that, uh, if we close this one here uh, somewhere, yeah, we're going to see that uh, for these two, the value are uh, the values are provided, but for this one, the agent will collect it. And that's what we want. Because of uh, we are adding like a new tool, we need to also add the instructions uh, here to to work with that. So I will uh, now going to paste an instruction or a set of instructions to, to enable that. Uh, we are going to do it right here before uh, the uh, the closing mark. Let's uh, do it here. Uh, okay, this one okay. right here. Okay, so here the instructions now is like okay, cl uh, client satisfaction collection at the end of each conversation. Before we uh, before we wrap up, I would like to get your feedback on our current conversation. Could you write your your experience? Collect the name and email from the user if it has not been provided. And then we say recording with Achi tool. So after receiving the rating, use the Achi tool to record the date, name, email, rating, and summary. And with that instruction, uh, it should work to create the actual record. So let's go back to the, to the record. Let's see that nothing is here. Let's give it another try and see what happens. So we click run test. It will uh, again ask us uh, some stuff here. All right. Um, do you offer uh, corporate uh, what corporate uh, video? And then um, I think it should say yes because that's on the uh, on the knowledge base. Let's wait, let's see. Yes, uh, it says a bunch of stuff that we didn't ask, but yeah, we provided like the, the response and that's uh, that's good. Let's follow up with uh, what's uh, your crew. I think it mentioned something there, but I want to trigger another response here just to see if we get a good summary on the spreadsheet. And let's wait for the response. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, they are a little bit longer, but um, yeah, it's okay. So directors, cinematographers, sound engineers, editors. So yeah, it provided the response. So that is uh, good enough for now. So let's say that's all uh, things uh, in that way. And then ideally now it should trigger the, yeah, the feedback uh, flow or like the feedback uh, phase. So you're welcome. Before we wrap up, can you provide uh, a rating? I would like to get your name and email. So yeah, um, five, let's say it is five. We didn't provide the name and the email. So the agent should follow up on that. To complete my notes, could I get uh, your name and email address? Uh, sure, it is uh, John Doe, John at Doe.com. So uh, once uh, we uh, provide that, I think, yeah, ideally it should then call the, the tool and then save the information. So let's check now here, let's open the debug mode and let's see what happened. Uh, just to confirm, we go to the end and then we can see here on the, on the log that, we, uh, that the agent was calling, calling tools that uh, was uh, a good add to cheat and then the integration tool, uh, it should have passed some information here. So then uh, let's go and check. It did. So yeah, it added. Um, here's the yeah the formatting that I had on the on the spreadsheet. But the actual information was added: date, uh, name, email, rating, and the client summary. So the client summary uh, about corporate video and crew information and yeah, provided comprehensive overview of our corporate uh, offerings. So it essentially worked. It was uh, quite quite good, right? So I think that's um, that's one one way to go about it. And I think that's, that's pretty awesome. Now uh, we can go a little bit a step further and let's do the change of the uh, rating, but using this new, also new release uh, with the buttons. So let's uh, enable that and let's see how the agent can do, uh, can make use of this tool. 
So for now, let's uh, keep this description here. But what I'm going to add very simply here in the uh, at the end of the conversation, let's uh, do something like use the buttons uh, tool to and uh, let's go back let's edit this okay buttons to now oh, wait what is happening buttons okay okay oh, a little more okay that's one uh yes use the buttons tool to um render uh, buttons for each uh, rating option all right so let's uh, test this one and see how it works. Now, if we click run, click run test, we are going to get the greeting. Um, let's uh, ask, like, do you offer um, AK? Okay, okay. Let's wait. Um, let's see if it is going to reply. Okay, yeah, for sure. No, that's all. Thank you. And then uh, now, hopefully, we get some nice buttons here to, yeah, to pick. So before we wrap up, I would like to get your feedback. Could you rate your experience from one to five? And I didn't uh, provide any uh, instructions about this, but you can provide some instructions to use uh, stars, to use uh, a different, yeah, system or different values. So yeah, very, very helpful. Let's see if we can continue and then it should uh, again ask a uh, name and email. So now it's like Jane Doe is uh, Jane at dot com, doe dot com. And then uh, let's see if that is being recorded. So it is Jane Doe rating four and then custom inquire about AK video production capabilities. So I think that's uh, pretty much like pretty, pretty interesting. Like now with these agentic capabilities of the agent step, we are going to be opening a new set of possibilities and more uh, powerful, more uh, yeah, customizable uh, agents and builds. So it's going to be quite, quite interesting to build uh, with these uh, tools and these integrations moving forward. So that is um, what I wanted to share on this one. All right, let's wrap it up. I think that was uh, very interesting to work with this uh, new MCP tool, new, new MCP integration on VoiceFlow. So if you think MCP is cool, uh, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.